Welcome to Smart AgriHub, your trusted resource for practical farming solutions. In today's comprehensive guide, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of chicken vaccination and care. Whether you're a seasoned poultry farmer or just starting out, understanding proper vaccination techniques and ongoing care is essential for maintaining a healthy flock, improving productivity, and preventing disease outbreaks. Stay tuned as we cover proven methods, expert tips, and essential information to help you optimize your poultry management. Let's begin by understanding why vaccination is crucial for chicken health. Chickens, like all livestock, are susceptible to various diseases that can spread rapidly and devastate an entire flock. Common threats include Newcastle disease, Merrick's disease, infectious bronchitis, and fowlpox, among others. Vaccination boosts your chickens' immune systems, helping them resist these illnesses and ensuring your farm runs efficiently. Remember, proactive care through vaccination is not only cost-effective, but also vital for food safety and animal welfare. Before vaccinating, preparation is key. Start by assessing your flock size and age, as vaccination schedules differ for chicks, growers, and mature birds. Always source vaccines from reputable suppliers and check expiration dates to guarantee efficacy. Store vaccines in a cool, dry place, preferably refrigerated, and avoid exposing them to direct sunlight. Gather necessary equipment, including sterile syringes, needles, eyedroppers, and clean water. Wear gloves and maintain personal hygiene to prevent introducing contaminants. Next, create a vaccination schedule tailored to your flock. For example, Marek's disease vaccine is typically administered to chicks within the first day of life. Newcastle disease and infectious bronchitis vaccines are often given at two to three weeks of age, followed by booster doses as needed. Consult with a local veterinarian or agricultural extension officer to determine the most appropriate schedule for your region and flock type. Keeping accurate records of vaccination dates and types is crucial for long-term flock management and can help you track the effectiveness of your health protocols. Let's move to the step-by-step -step vaccination process. Begin by gently restraining each chicken to minimize stress. For small flocks, this can be done by hand. For larger flocks, use a helper or a gentle restraint system. Always handle birds calmly to avoid injury. Depending on the vaccine type, administration methods may include injection, eye drop, drinking water, or wing web puncture. For injectable vaccines, clean the injection site, usually under the skin of the neck or breast with an alcohol swab. Use a fresh, sterile needle for each bird to prevent disease transmission. Inject the prescribed dose, ensuring the vaccine is delivered subcutaneously or intramuscularly as directed by the manufacturer. For vaccines administered via eye drops, hold the chicken securely and apply the drop directly to the eye. Ensure the bird blinks to distribute the vaccine. If the vaccine is to be added to drinking water, withhold water for a few hours before and after administration to encourage all birds to drink and receive the full dose. Mix the vaccine thoroughly in clean, cool water and distribute it evenly among the flock. In the case of wing web vaccination, use the special applicator provided, puncturing the wing web with the vaccine. Check for proper technique and monitor birds for any adverse reactions. After vaccination, monitor your chickens closely for the next 24 to 48 hours. Most birds will experience minimal discomfort, but some may exhibit mild side effects such as lethargy or reduced appetite. Keep the environment stress-free, ensuring adequate food and clean water are available. If you notice swelling, persistent lethargy, or unusual symptoms, consult a veterinarian immediately. Document any reactions for future reference. Vaccination is just one aspect of comprehensive chicken care. To maximize flock health, implement good biosecurity practices. Limit visitors to your coop, change footwear before entering poultry areas, and disinfect equipment regularly. Provide proper housing with adequate ventilation, dry bedding, and protection from predators. Nutrition is equally important. Feed a balanced diet rich in protein, vitamins, and minerals tailored to your chicken's age and purpose. Clean water should be available at all times, and feeders and waterers should be sanitized regularly to prevent the spread of disease. 
Regular health checks are essential for early disease detection. Observe your flock daily for changes in behavior, appearance, or productivity. Look for signs such as sneezing, coughing, diarrhea, or abnormal droppings. Isolate sick birds promptly and seek veterinary advice when needed. Keep detailed records of flock health, production rates, and any interventions performed. This data can help you identify trends and respond quickly to potential issues. Let's not forget environmental management. Maintain a clean, dry coop to minimize disease risk. Remove droppings daily and replace bedding as needed. Ensure proper drainage around the coop to prevent standing water, which can attract pests and harbor pathogens. Install screens or barriers to keep wild birds and rodents out, as they can introduce diseases to your flock. Rotate pasture areas periodically if you practice free-range or movable coop systems to reduce parasite load and promote healthy foraging. Educating farm workers and family members about poultry care is another important step. Train everyone involved in proper handling, vaccination techniques, and hygiene procedures. Share updates on new vaccines, emerging diseases, and best management practices. Encourage a culture of continuous learning and improvement to safeguard flock health year after year. Another key point is understanding local regulations and requirements regarding poultry vaccination. Many regions have specific guidelines for disease control, especially if you sell eggs or meat commercially. Familiarize yourself with these rules and stay compliant to avoid penalties and protect public health. Joining poultry associations or online forums can provide valuable support, resources, and networking opportunities. In summary, successful chicken vaccination and care involve planning, precision, and ongoing attention. By following these step-by-step -step guidelines, you'll reduce the risk of disease, improve productivity, and ensure your flock thrives. Remember, healthy chickens mean higher yields, better profits, and greater peace of mind for you and your family. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to subscribe to Smart AgriHub for more expert tips on poultry management, animal health, and sustainable farming. Share your experiences and questions in the comments below. We love hearing from our community and supporting your journey to better agriculture. For more information, check our recommended resources and connect with local experts to keep learning and growing. Thank you for joining us today. With proper vaccination and care, you're investing in the future of your farm and the well-being of your chickens. Stay proactive, stay informed, and keep your flock healthy. We wish you great success in all your poultry endeavors.